Hello everybody, my name is Robert Kellens. I'm going to walk you through a quick example of uh, how we can convert uh, interest rates at an annual percentage rate to effective, effective annual rates uh, using the BA2+. Plus. And so I'll walk through a quick example of, uh, of these rates right here. So we have an annual rate, nominal rate, uh, quoted to us at 6%. Uh, and we want to uh, find the corresponding effective uh, annual rate uh, for those different compounding periods shown here 2, 4, 12, 52, and 365. We can simply use this icon V function here on the BA2 plus. Uh, so before we do that, what I want to do is I want to show you how to uh, set the calculator to uh, four decimal places uh, just because it's a little bit more accurate in terms of uh, using uh, interest rates when we get to specific compounding periods. Sometimes uh, the third and fourth decimal place uh, can matter here. So to do that, you, all you have to do is press second uh, format down here, decimal point, and you should come up with says DEC. That stands for decimal places. And you can just simply change that. You may, the default is two. I already have it changed to four. You can just press four, enter, and then you're going to have four decimal places stored in your calculator. Uh, you can change that back and forth if you wish. I typically uh, use four decimal places. So uh, let's go back to the Example here with uh, with interest rates. So to get to uh, converting uh, annual percentage rates, uh, nominal rates to effective rates, uh, we can use the second uh, icon V function here. So you just press that. When it comes up, you're going to see it says nom. Okay, this is the nominal rate that we're going to put in. So the nominal rate uh, that we're going to use here is going to be 6% in our example. We can hit enter. We can hit the down arrow and you can see it's going to come to effective, right? So here's your effective rate uh, based on, uh, if you press the down arrow once more, based on this compounding periods per year, this CY. So if we leave CY at at one, if we hit enter, there's only one compounding period per year. We come back to the effective and we compute the effective. We're only going to have an effective rate of six percent. So again, this is uh, straightforward. We only have one compounding period per year. The APR and the effective rate is going to be equal. Okay, but when we come back to uh, the compounding periods per year, if we put in two, okay, so there's two compounding period periods per year every six months we press enter we hit the down arrow back to the effective rate and we compute this effective rate you can see the effective rate uh, with a six percent nominal rate compounded twice per year uh, the effective rate is a little bit higher six point zero nine percent and this is going to go up as we use more and more compounding periods per year so if we go to the second example we use four so interest is compounded uh, on a quarterly basis, four times per year, every three months, we go back to the effective rate we compute. You can see the effective rate has gone up now to 6.1364%, and so on and so forth. We change this to 12. We have monthly compounding periods. We hit enter. We go down to the effective. This is going to go up marginally to 6.1678. And again, we go down to compounding periods weekly, 52 weeks in a year. Uh, enter, we go back to the effective, we compute, the, the effective rate has gone up to 6.18, and if we get the daily compounding, 365, so interest is compounded on a daily basis based on that nominal rate, we compute that, and we can see this went up marginally to 6.1831%. Uh, so that's an example of how we can use uh, the icon V function here uh, to convert interest rates back and forth uh, from uh, nominal rates to effective rates. Please feel free to leave uh, questions or comments below, and thanks for watching.